so we're going to have speaking part one first. Sure. Going to talk about the holiday. Where did you go most recently for holiday? Um, I did not go anywhere actually when uh, I got a holiday for, from my office or from my institution. But yeah, uh, most of my time in the vacation I used for reading and listening music and yeah, writing some paper to publish in some journal, international journal because um, Actually, uh, I must uh, do it because I have to uh, write uh, more uh, paper to have a pride for my university. So, yeah, that's it, I think. So, how often do you go on holiday? Um, it's not, yeah, it's rare for me to go outside in holiday, uh, as I said before. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, in a week uh, I go outside. Um, I just in weekend in 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 my uh, semester vacation. So most of uh, in weekdays, uh, most of on weekdays, I, I use it to uh, to read uh, some books and some uh, you know scientific article. Where uh, do you usually go when you have the holiday? Uh, I usually uh, take my wife to a supermarket and then, yeah, sometimes uh, we went to a mall, um, but for, uh, yeah, for going to tourism, yeah, it, it's very rare for me. So, yeah, most of my time in vacation uh, on the weekend, especially. Uh, yeah, my family and I uh, went to mall or supermarket. Okay, now let's talk about family. Yeah. Do you come from a big family or small one? Um, I have a big family actually. Uh, so it is interesting to talk about uh, the family because yeah. Sometimes we uh, we we uh, we visit uh, each other. Then we spare uh, to talk about yeah our hobbies and our interests and yeah uh, sometimes we we talk a lot about uh, the academic uh, target in in our lives. So yeah. Okay, and uh, do you think it is a good idea to come from? a uh, big family than the small one? Um, I think I prefer to, yeah, to choose uh, the big family because uh, when we have a big family, we can, you know, we have, uh, we have a lot of uh, pe people to share um, our interests, our hobbies, and, and sometimes we enjoy to go outside together and um, we, yeah, I think it it uh, it will make me um, re releasing my stress because when when I I got bored when I get bored in my works, um, yeah, I will I will go to to um, my sister, my brother, and yeah, we share a lot of things. Okay, thank you. I think that's enough for speaking part one. And I noticed that you have already good ability in speaking in English. Thank you. Uh, you can speak at length as well as, you know, discussing different kind of topic as well as, you know, you have a various vocabulary to share your idea as well. And you, maybe a little, a little mark from me when you say that uh, you are not for the holiday i think you say going to tourism it's supposed to be going to tourist destinations because tourism is the the name of the industry when uh, you yeah, yeah. try to say the places should be tourist destination okay, okay i think thank you miss
Thank you very much. Um, okay, we're going to move to Miss Frenzy. Yeah. Hello, Miss Frenzy. My name is Dina Ranjani. You can call me Dinar. Yeah. Can you hear my voice yeah. clearly? Okay. So, um, we're going to have speaking part one and talking about the travel and family. So, the first question who do you normally go on holiday with? Well, I, for recently, um, I go anywhere for holiday. Don't go any uh, entrepreneurship woman, so I can go anywhere and leave my work actually. Also, oh, how often do you go on holiday? Mm, how often? Maybe one year in uh once once in one year. Do you have a favorite place to go on holiday when some when you know when you have an opportunity to do that? Mm. Maybe I want to go to uh, abroad, maybe. Mm -hmm. Take a, um, a lot of pictures because I, <laughs> I really um, have a little picture about me and my, my family, I think. Why do you like to go to holiday and um, going abroad. Mm, I like something new. Everything new is I um, excited. Maybe excited. I excited about that. Okay. So I can learn something new and um, experience making experience with that. Now let's move on to talk about your family. What do you what do your parents do for a living? I can hear the question is what do your parents do for a living? Um my parents my parents um entrepreneurship too they sell uh, food, not, I mean, uh, raw material for food, not, not the food that we can eat directly, not just a raw material in the traditional market in Surabaya. So, um, they sell in the like like grocery like grocery okay. okay now move on to the next question how do you get along with the rest of your family mm. i actually i have married so i can Frequently uh, together with them, go together with them. I just maybe I just call them twice a week because they they are busy. So do I. <laughs> so we can actually we can communicate um, frequently, but we still do that. Okay, thank you. I think that's the end of the speaking part one. And if I have to give you some suggestions for the first question, when I ask you who do you normally go on holiday with, I think um, your answer is not really answering that question because your answer is I, to be honest, I, oft, I rarely go on holiday supposed to be like you can say even though you 
you are going on a holiday like it's not regularly or it's not really that frequent you can just say who you're going who uh, you spend your holiday with maybe you can say your family or your children okay. and um, I still notice some hesitation when talking about um, you know like um, topics that we usually talk in our daily life like this is about holiday and family but um, you still kind of have you know like some hesitation maybe to find the idea or maybe to find the vocabulary but it's already good because uh, after all you can understand the patient and really giving the appropriate response for that answer so just continue to practice in order to reduce your hesitance okay thank, thank you, you. Hello, Mr. And I don't know what's your name. Is it Mr. or Miss? And because iPhone, like. Okay. Okay, so my name is Dinar. Could you please tell me your name since you are not using your real name? Okay, my name is Trey, Miss. Okay, Miss Trey. Yes. I from Jember. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have speaking part one. Yes. Talking about hometown. Okay. So first question, what is it like where you live? Okay, uh, I live in small city. It's uh, maybe four hours from Surabaya. Mm -hmm. And in my hometown, uh, there are several uh, tourism destinations like beach and mountain. And I live with my family, my parents. And uh, I enjoy what about the the village because we have we have a, a lot of views like uh, farmers and fresh air. I think this all. Okay. Have you always lived in the same place? Cities. Have you always lived in the same place? Oh, same place. Yep. <laughs> um, not usually, because uh, because I I always move uh, another place, like in the city, or uh, always uh, move uh, everywhere that I uh change my jobs and also uh conduct with my uh business with my relationships yes i i i usually move another city to uh regarding my job activities okay thank you now let's talk about learning languages. Do most people in your country learn English? Um, not all my uh, my uh, my citizen, especially in my country, uh, learning English because uh, they uh, they know uh, about the difficulties about uh, English as well because uh, many, many of people uh, spend a lot of money by learning English and they, too, they tend to uh, try uh, use uh, their own language 
but uh, if uh, but from the student uh, who have patient to go abroad, maybe they uh, tend to uh, learn English, learning English to yeah to prepare uh, sur to survive uh, in another in other places or in another country. Uh, this good for them to uh, enhance or uh, broaden their knowledge about English. Okay, thank you. I think that's enough for speaking part one. Um, besides from the fact that you still have the hesitation, um, it's really good for you to be able to answer and understand the question. Also, um, giving a different vocabulary, broaden your knowledge, and etc. But I suggest you to, um, you know, like learn about the pronunciation to make it clear. Although I still can understand what you're trying to say, but I'm afraid that. If you take the real test, the examiner will mistakenly you to talk about something else. I think that's all for my remark. So let's move on to the other member. Hello, Mr. Um, I don't know. Oh, am I supposed Hello? to Hello? Oh, Miss. Okay. So, Miss, my name is Dina Ranjani. Could you please tell me your name? My name is Lamia. Mia, you, you can call me Mia. Okay, Miss Mia. We're going to have speaking part one, and we're going to talk about from uh, hometown and learning English. First of all, could you please um, tell me where do you come from? I come from Jakarta and it's a capital city of Indonesia. Uh, I live here for about 20 years and I really... Enough? Oh, Is it enough? If you have another thing that you want to say, it's okay. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is it like? Where do you live? It is a large, a big city in Indonesia, and we have a skyscraper and a buildings, so many buildings, and also. Uh, like a big, uh, what is that? A big uh, road and uh, and also mall. So many malls here. So uh, we can eat and hang out with our friends uh, easily. And okay. the transportation also okay. so easy here. So uh, we can take a bus or train and also uh, it's easy to walk uh, to walk yeah okay. for pedestrian now let's move on to talk about learning languages have you studied any other languages besides your mother tongue? Yes, actu actually, I've, I've studied uh, English uh, and Korean language besides my other tongue because I really like watch Korean drama movies. So I want to know what they're talking about and it's a really interests me to uh, learn another language. And which language do you find easiest, English or Korean? 
actually i think uh it's easier learn english because korean have uh write another uh what we call hangul that's the writing of another like the alphabet it's different yeah Okay, I think that's I think all. So. Yeah, I think that's all for speaking part one. Um, yeah, thank you, Miss. Uh, small note remark for me: when you said big road, you can change it to avenue to make it sounds, you know, like using the less common vocabulary. Big road, same with avenue, and uh, it's totally different when we talk it talk about differencing uh, the first one we talk about how you describe your hometown and the second one we talk about something that interests you is quite different because in the first time you show uh, some hesitation like giving some pauses between your sentence but um, when we talk about something that interests you the most you tend to have a, like a good flow when the you know like trying to give your response but of overall it's okay. totally good and understandable but um, you have to try to practice talking about something that is not your interest or that is not in your background to make it you know like giving you so many ideas to talk to discuss about them oh, okay okay thank you yes Thank you, Miss. So, Miss Fitri, can you hear me? I think maybe I can go to you, Mr. Hello? Oh, okay, Mr. Fitri. Eh, Mr. Fitri, sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Fitri. We're going to have speaking part two. Part two. Yeah, okay. Okay, Miss. Um, I will give you one minute to prepare your idea and your question. Do you need some time I have to, to take talk a paper? About and, yeah, and you have to talk about two minutes. Do you need some time to prepare yourself with a note and pen? Yes, yeah, I already have my Oh, note. okay. Thank <laughs> This is your patient. And one minute starts from now. Okay, it's done. Now I give you two minutes to deliver your idea. Please just continue speaking before I interrupt you. And you can start now. Okay, talking about leisure activity, I think the answer is quite complicated because I believe uh, everyone has different personalities. So uh, we tend to have a different kind of leisure activity. I mean, everyone has different hobbies. So
So when I have to answer the question, I think I would just choose uh, the most common one. In this case, I would say surfing on the internet because uh, nowadays internet is a quiet, a famous among uh, all uh, things, I think, because everyone has um, a smartphone and uh, they can explore any kind of information and activities through the internet. And uh, what kind of people who can ex explore the internet? I think any kind of people. I mean, the elderly, teenagers, uh, and uh, women, men, uh, as long as you have internet connection and as long as you have a media to access it uh, through your mobile phone or through your um, personal computer, it, it is okay. Um, we can do it everywhere, you know, because this is an online activity. As long as you have an internet connection, you can do it from your home or you can do it from your office. And there are so many kind of uh, activities you can do online. For example, for women, we tend to like uh, doing an online shopping. I think most of all, most of women love it very much. And for men, I think most of them spend their time playing online games um, such as, as uh, you know, like uh, shooting games or like war games. And uh, it is also similar for children. They love okay. to play online games. Yeah. Okay, Thank it's you, over two minutes. Thank you, Miss Petri. You're Thank you really good in this because you started to talk about general topic first talking about that everyone has different pleasure activities based on their personality i think that's good to buy some time and then you go more specifically talking about you and you speak obviously like uh in a long time but um I also, you know, you also give some kind of examples in the middle of your speaking. It's totally good, but uh, be careful because you have to manage your time really, really well to be able to talk about, uh, you know, like the questions you ask in this part. Overall, yeah. it's already good. Thank you, Ms. Vidri. Thank you. Now I'm going to move to Mr. Anjar. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Anjar, as like Miss Vitri, I'm going to give you one minute to the, sure. to you know to write down your answer and two minutes to deliver it. So here is your topic, describing your ideal car. And one minute starts from now. Okay. Oh no, you still have 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. okay, it's over. Now I'm going to give you two minutes to deliver your idea. You can start now. Um, okay, um, when we talk about uh, car, so uh, actually, uh, even I have a car, but uh, my dream is to have uh, the jazz one. It's kind of city car. And yeah, 
why I why I I like uh, jazz so much before because yeah I love the interior and step exterior. It's kind of you know like a millennial or uh, the trend one for uh, um, not only for um, the oldest one but especially for uh, the youngest people. So it's very appropriate uh, with. Uh, the youngest people each so yeah and <clears throat> uh, I would like to travel to Yogyakarta with this car uh, because I have a big family in uh, Yogyakarta so I can travel there and I, I can stay and uh, sizing uh, for the tourist destination in Yogyakarta by this car uh, why I uh, choose Yogyakarta? Uh, it's it's far, but I think for this car, it's very it is it is very um, you know it's very fit when we when we drive uh, this uh, car to Yogyakarta. Even this uh, this this car is kind of a city car, but uh, Jess has you know uh, the the big uh, torsion of uh, the machine and most of the feature in machine are very good to, to travel in, in, uh, in the long distance. So it's no problem uh, when we use it to, even when we use it to travel in Jakarta. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's over two minutes. Um... I noticed a slight grammatical mistake by this car. You said that I think it should yeah. be better if you use by driving this car or by riding okay. this car. So okay. Okay. After all, it's totally good. Uh, answering the question as well. So thank you. Thank you, Miss. We're going to move to Miss Lisa. Okay. Yes. So yes. Uh, we're going to have speaking part two. So normally in speaking part two, the examiner will give you one minute to prepare your answer. Do you have your pen and a paper? Okay. So. This is your topic, and one minute starts from now. Okay, it's over, one minute. Now I'm going to give you two minutes to convey your idea. Two minutes starts from now. Okay, um, I prefer to communicate with my friends by mobile phone. Um, and it, that is frequently well for me to communicate with a mobile phone. And because I have many friends and they are so busy too, and I'm busy too, so we just can communicate by mobile phone. 
Um, and how often I use this method? Okay, um, all the time. I think also all the time I use mobile phone. I chatting um, if or get message and I call them and then um, they call me too. Think the what and what the disadvantages? I think there is no disadvantages for this method. It's very very comfortable for me, and I think my friends it feels the same too. Because it's um, actually I don't like. Uh, hang out or what's what's that? Um, uh, talking too much? Maybe I just talk the important ones and then I and I go. <laughs> I leave the phone. Maybe and okay. Uh, it's already two minutes. It's already two minutes and going to give you some feedbacks. The strong one, your strong point is that you already uh, un uh, understand the equations and you try to answer it appropriately. But for your next improvement, maybe the first one that is more noticeable is the, you can use linking word to you know to bridge to have a bridging between one equation to the to the other so that you don't have to spend much more your time to you know to make a long process and when the examiner give you one minute to prepare the answers you can write down all of the the answers that you want to say for each of the questions so you don't have to think it while you speak it because it will you know uh, reduce your, your score in the coherence because you and the fluency because you take your time to think about your idea well you know like um, showing the hesitations and the poses I think my problem is on the vocab means oh. and grammar. So I just so uh, frequently I must to translate to translate first and then I can I can uh, like Miss Sweetly I I see her it's very very good but uh, I don't know I just my brain is not can stop translate Indonesia to English. <laughs> yeah sometimes I, it's a time for yeah. make a sentence. Yeah, sometimes that's uh, the problem, especially with the student, because they try they, they still think in Bahasa, and then when it times uh, for them to speak in English, they still trying to translate translate it, and that's why it makes them you know like having so much hesitation because they trying to. Um, make a good structure in the grammar well in the real life uh, grammar is not really you know it's important but even pen nine in speaking is still uh, it's still allowable to have a grammatical error so just don't you know don't um, push yourself so hard to think about the grammar just speak first by the time you can uh, you know, like learning by doing for the grammar itself. So just speak it and I suggest you maybe to listen, maybe in the middle of your uh, busy schedule, you can read some articles in English so that it can give you some insight about the vocabulary itself. Okay, thank you, Miss. You're welcome.
I'm going to go to Mr. Three. Yes. Okay, Hello. Mr. Three, I will give you the question for part two. Yes. You have one minute to prepare your answer. And this is your question. One minute starts from now. Okay, one minute is over. Now I will give you two minutes. Okay. You can start now. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, academic success that I achieved before. Okay, um, since I, I went to uh, the vocational high school, my major is electrical engineering and I spent a lot of time uh, almost three years and I always uh, I remember that uh, how was difficult in that because I struggle with uh, my, my major and I we, I did uh, to about many things like uh, robotics, uh, sensor, and many other kind of um, electrical equipment. So when it comes to the uh, uh, daily life, like in school, um, I try to uh, communicate communicate with them to to to, uh, to yes to make. Uh, build our relationship because uh, I need some information and we can share together to encourage my success and ask for my purpose to uh, to finish my school. So it was difficult for me because I struggle a lot and and I can achieve my goals. Maybe if I without them maybe I will uh, I will I I I will got um, many kind of problems in my life. Okay, so it's on. already two minutes. Okay, thanks. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is um. Your answers, are you still answering the second questions? I think you should have a good time management when it comes to speaking part two because your answers still kind of have like, you know, kind of going around and around, uh, explaining about that um, you have a struggle in your major. You can just, uh, you know, explain it briefly by talking about what the difficulties that okay. you face, like you mentioned before, because you're still new in electrical equipment and medical robotic and so, and you can just like state it briefly as well how you can solve the problem by having a good communication discussion with my. 
help a lot. And then you can just move to the next question. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I missed the question. Yeah. Yeah. So the third and the last question is not um, well discussed in your previous uh, response. So I think that's my um, suggestion. Overall, it's already okay. good because you understand the question and trying to get uh, the, the appropriate response. Thank you, Mr. Pei. Okay. Now let's move to the Miss Mia. Hello, yes. Miss Mia. Okay. So just like your friends before, I'm going to give you one minute to talk to not talking one minute to prepare your answer yes and here is your question you can start from now Okay, one minute over. Now I will give you another two minutes to deliver your idea. You ready? Yes. Okay, <laughs> you can start now. Uh, the first computer I've owned, it was a big computer. Uh, has it has a big uh, uh, screen and I got it when I was in senior high school and I use it for write my work like homework and some letters for my friends and using computer change my life because it's easier to use computer than write in paper and also uh, by using computer I, I, I can communicate with my friends and the overseas friends and it really changed my life in so many ways enough miss okay thank you mr don't have another i don't have another it's 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 a difficult one <laughs> <laughs> okay, you still have twenty. Know. You still have twenty, 20 seconds. Twenty seconds. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, first of all, you have to speak at length. I mean, don't just answer the question directly. For example, when you talk about uh the first time you got it, you can instead of you know, just saying, I got it when I was in senior high school. You can give more explanation. For example, at that time, uh, I got 
an A for all of my subjects at school and my dad gave me that computer as a kind of prize because I got the A score and blah 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 blah, blah. just make a story to to make it long and also uh, um, types of things that you can use your computer you can say starting from doing your homework you can playing um, you know like playing some games listening to the music there are a lot of things that you can use to describe this question uh, to answer this question that's the idea that I can give to you uh, the next one that I noticed is that here the question is about the past tense talking about the past experience because this is the first computer that you own so you have to be careful in order when you um, you know like when you use your grammar because it's supposed to be in a past tense could be past tense simple past tense or you can use past perfect but it's supposed to be in the past so i think that's all try to um you know like give more explanation more detail in your answer miss mia okay thank you So I think that's all for today's speaking part one and part two. We still have speaking part three later on. In I think it's at three thirty until seven, until five this afternoon. So see you then in for speaking part three. Thank you guys for your participation. Thank you, Miss. Welcome.